Hello friends, as we are discussing with the first topic or the first chapter that is introduction to geomorphology that is our chapter 1. Hi, I am Ram Kaur, Assistant Professor Nauru Jiwadiya College, Pune. As we are discussing about the study point, the first study point that is introduction to physical geography and its branches that we have already discussed. So, now we are moving towards the second study point or the subtopics we can say geomorphology its definition, nature and scope. So friends, geomorphology. Geomorphology is the subject which deals with the study of the surface of the earth. It also studies all the processes which helped in shaping the earth's surface the way it is now. It helps in defining the linear processes which is occurring in the present and also which have occurred in the past. So in this geomorphology we are going to learn about the surface features such as the landscapes, different different landscapes, mountains, rivers, valleys, plains, plateaus etc and how they were formed in the past and how the processes are running on it through the time. The linear processes are also we are going to learn in this section. Okay so this is the subject which we know as a geomorphology. Geomorphology is the science of landforms as we see the Greek root words geo is equal to that is mean by earth, morphe means form or shape, logos means discourse or the study. We can understand it is a study of landforms. Geomorphology is not only the description of surface features but rather it includes measurements of these features to understand the processes which are responsible to shape them. Okay, so here in this subject, we are not going to analyze only the shape, how they are look, but we are taking some measurements also to understand their properties. Okay, so we are not just qualifying the features, we are going to quantifying them also. So that is another aspect of this subject that is geomorphology. So here are the different different definitions of this subject given by different different scientists. The first main definition is given by Davis in 1914 that is geomorphology is science of the landform. Landform is the function of structure, process and stage, stage or time you can say. Okay, so here in this definition we understood that landform, landform means the surface structure, ups and downs, whatever, mountains will be there or the rivers or the valleys or the plateaus, anything, anything, whatever the landform you are looking for, that is there on the surface of the earth, which is a function of structure. Structure means how they are formed, with, the, with which material, rocks material and how they are linear in width. Okay, if the rock stratas are horizontal or vertical or slanting, whatever is the structure of that landform that is a first function of that landform the processes which processes are going on that landform is also a main function of geomorphology that is uh, some climatic processes glacial processes or aeolian processes or fluvial processes anything which processes are going on that landform that also studied in this subject and all this structure processes that means the landscape is going through some processes but it requires always the time, okay? And through this time, the landform or the landscape transform from one stage to another stage. So that is, we can say landform is the function of structure, process and time or stage, okay? The second definition is given by the Fenman in 1936. The study and interpretation of the records left by erosion constitute the larger part of the science of geomorphology. Here in this definition the scientist says it is the study of the interpretation of records. Which, uh, which records? The records left by erosion. Erosion means the process by which the river or any kind of uh, agent is uh, erode the material from one point, one place and it gets deposited at the another place. Okay, that will come to the next chapter also. But the erosion constitutes the larger part of that science, which is known as a geomorphology. This is the second definition. The third one, 
A.L. Bloom, name of scientist, the definition is given in 1979, defined geomorphology as the systematic description and analysis of landscape and the processes that change them. Okay, so the geomorphology means it's the systematic description and analysis of landscape. Okay, systematic not only description but the analysis to quantify them, to quantify, to measure the landscape and the measure the processes also. The processes are leading to the change the landscape. Okay, so that is also one definition. Arthur Holm is giving simple definition that is a study of relief feature of lithosphere. Lithosphere means also called as a geosphere. Okay, litho word is related to the rock or soil. Okay, the cover of soil or rock surrounding the earth is known as lithosphere. And the study of that lithosphere is known as a geomorphology that Arthur Holmes says. The Strahler says, science of landforms including their history and processes of origin. Then Thornbury says in 1954, considers submarine forms along with the relief features in the study of geomorphology. Okay, so the geomorphology subject suggests not only relief features which is present on the surface of the earth, but there are some features which are under the oceans. Okay, and those features also going to be studied in this subjects. So, this is has to be dealt by Thornberry. Okay, then we are going to move towards the nature of the subject. That is, physical geography seeks to explain the spatial and temporal variation in the physical phenomena on the earth. Okay, so what is word mean by spatial? Spatial, the word spatial is related to the space and the temporal is related to the time. Okay, so physical geography is to explain that spatial and temporal variation in physical phenomena on the earth. Geomorphology is a branch of physical geography. It is a study of evolution and configuration of landforms. It deals with the questions like how landform evolves, what is the structure of landform, what are the processes behind the present structure of landform, how much time required to shape landform in a present condition. Okay, so these four questions are very important to understand the nature of landform and to study the geomorphology as well. Okay, so how landform evolve? So that is not in our uh, conception because there are many processes by which landform can be found. But what is the structure of that landform? The second question answer will give the first question answer. The how landform gets evolved. Okay depending on the structure of that landform. What are the processes behind the present structure of landform? That also will lead to the structure of landform and then we are coming back, going back to the how landform evolved that question. Okay, so step by step we need to understand if we know about the processes which are going on the surface of the earth, then we can know about the structure of that landscape or landform. And if we know the structure of that landform, we can analyze or we can summarize about the how landform evolves okay. and the fourth, fourth most uh, important question is how much time required to shape landform in a present condition okay so how much time required that will also be analyzed by the processes which are going on that landform okay so these questions are answered in the study of geomorphology due to internal and external forces new landforms are originated now, which are internal forces and which are external forces? Internal forces are those forces which are coming from within the earth, like earthquake tremors, volcano, volcanic eruptions, etc. And the external forces like wind, flowing water, means rivers, oceanic water, oceanic waves, ocean tides, ocean currents, then ice, moving ice, that is we know as glaciers. Okay, so all these internal and external forces identified by the new landforms are originated. Okay, sudden movements like earthquake and volcanoes are responsible for creation of destruction of landforms. Flood, landslide, soil creep, rock falls are some of other events which are happen due to sudden movement of material. Scientists seek to understand why landscape look the way they do. To understand landform history and dynamics and predict changes through the combination of field observations, 
physical experiments and numerical modeling okay so this kind of a nature of this subject has that the scientist scientists seek the under seek to understand why landscapes are looking like this and to understand that they analyze the processes they measure the landscape okay so in this uh, last sentence they said the the field observation physical experiments and numerical modeling are also done to understand the landscape okay so these kind of a uh, descriptive subject is this and as well as quantifying subject also uh, the geomorphology is okay so what is the scope of geomorphology that is very vast scope it has but uh, certainly we are going to discuss in one para here geomorphology as already mentioned in before is the study of land forms including their origin and evolution and the processes that shape them geomorphology is well concerned with physical geography geology geodesy engineering geology archaeology and geotechnical engineering this broad base of interest contributes to many researchers styles and interest within the field early studies in the geomorphology are the foundations of pedology is related to the soil geography one of the two main branches of soil science landform result from the combination of natural and anthropogenic processes due to tectonic uplift and volcanic landscapes are formed denudation occurs by erosion and mass wasting which produces sediments that is transported and deposited elsewhere within the landscape or off coast landscapes are also lowered by subsidence either due to tectonics or physical changes in underlying sedimentary deposits these processes are influenced by ecology climate and human activity okay so all this para says whatever these are the subjects like physical geography geology geodesy engineering geology all these are branches which studies the subject geomorphology to understand the nature of landscape the process on it and how much time it required okay and all these processes are like uh, landslide mass wasting erosion denudation uh, weathering to understand all these processes we required a vast cover of knowledge and on the basis of that we can decide the application of geomorphology includes why i put the question mark over here because that is the last point of this chapter we will discuss it later on in this uh, in that section we can learn about the scope of geomorphology in a vast manner so that's why i have put it only one para over here that is scope of geomorphology is related to this much and this much but what are the different different applications by which we can understand the scope of that subject we are learning in the last topic of this chapter okay so the next there are three major aspects of the study of geomorphology and that we must understood before we start with the next topic firstly it is a study of relations between landforms and the underlying rocks and that is geological geomorphology see if we go under the surface that is geological geomorphology thus geomorphology is concerned with the interactions between denudation processes means weathering processes and the rock strength hence the precise investigation of the resistance of rocks to denudation detailed experimental work on rocks must be carried out in its second sense geomorphology is the study of evolution of landscape such as studies have been termed denudation chronology such studies attempts to reconstruct succession of pictures of the relief at a different times alterations of the relief are usually believed to have been caused by changes of base level and climate and the third aspect of geomorphology is a study of actual processes of erosion which gives rise to landforms unlike the first two aspects of geomorphology which are essentially regional in approach this third aspect is systematic it aims to understand the action of west movement and water movement ice and winds as well as the processes of weathering so one by one i'll explain this the first study first concept is what it is related to the geological geomorphology that means 
the processes which are going under the surface of the earth okay and there there are also certain points of geomorphology that we are going to learn okay in the second sense the geomorphology is the study of evolution of landscape that means again we are going to study about the surface of the earth not under the surface of the earth okay in the third sense geomorphology is actual process of erosion and gives rise to the different different landforms okay so in the third sense we are going to learn about the different different processes going through the and landscape going through the these processes over the period of time and how it becomes changes that also we are going to learn in this third section so these three steps are very important in understanding of geomorphology thank you thank you very much